right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand of us. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big punch lands through the middle. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Hands high, hands high. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, boy, tie. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Second round here. Oh, strong punch there by Choi. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stance. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice leg kick land. Again, they will clinch. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position. 
Got another beautiful takedown. Arch, a good ground up pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice. Single collar tie now. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Thing? Ten seconds now to go in the round. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice strike. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Attempt with the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Try to establish that jab. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, that jab, one of the best weapons in his arsenal. There it is again. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Nice punch land. Nice entry into the finish the right. 45 seconds remain in the round. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. 
20 seconds left. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break his right punches there? He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Changes his stance. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Kick blocked by Choi. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at that. Oh! What a fantastic stroke. Oh! Huge right hand! He's getting lit up right now, John. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Final round, you ready? You ready? Go. Fifth and final round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with that right hook. Good punch. Punch is blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Another shot lands upstairs. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John does it there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chua. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he, oh. he didn't like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. A couple of hammer fists now. Back to the feet. Hammer fist. Back to the feet. Oh! Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh! What a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the...